four wins, three losses, one draw with 35 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he is making the sixth defense of his title. Here is the defending WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, introducing Oscar Chololo Lario. And once again, a referee in charge, John Shorley, now to give instructions. And let's take a look at the numbers, how these two size up with one another. This should be a very competitive fight. Either man's going to have to look for the other, I can tell you that. McCullough, six years older than Larios. Larios with more fights, 54, 3 and 1. McCullough, 27 and 4. McCullough says he hasn't weighed 121 pounds since 1999. He says he's ready, and he's going to get all he wants, I'm sure, from the champion. Oscar Laria should be a terrific fight. Here are the unified rules. Ten-point must system, three knockdown rule, not in effect. There won't be a standing gate count. Fighter can't be saved with the bell in any round. That's opposite of the California rules. Either the referee or the doctor can stop it, and the headbutt rule would go to the cards after the fourth round, and that is something to consider here. I expect a lot of this fight will be held in close quarters. This match could be taking place in a shoebox. Two fighters that are both aggressive. They both like to go in the inside. Now, we've seen Wayne McCullough recently. He's tried a little boxing in his style, but no, it's not him. He likes a brawl. He loves a fight. Barry Tompkins, Sean O'Grady, the champ alongside, ringside here in Lemoore, California. And this just sets up as an action fight. Lario said he wants to counter McCullough. And McCullough's certainly there to be countered. Lario's the taller of the two, punches down with his shots. Wayne McCullough has to reach up with his punches. In the gym, McCullough says, I'm back to my old form, busy with many punches, and you can see that from him right on the attack from things he learned from legendary trainer Eddie Fuchs. He said his best punch is the left hook to the body, and he'll be using that a lot tonight. And he of says, Larios, he too says, I I'm a boxer in the ring, but I love the slug. He says his best punch, the left hook. And Marty, pick up your scorecard. Him, you never stop learning. And so when McCullough feels, he still is learning. Wayne McCullough defines that old term that fighters fight. He wanted this chance, he's got his chance, he's in there with a pretty tough guy. And he wants to take on the best. He doesn't want a panty waist out there, he doesn't want a tomato can. He wants to take, he wants to go to the top, take on the best, and he is tonight. He hit him with the left hand and rocked wow. Larios. Larios moving backward. McCullough is savvy. There's just no question about it. Barrios incidentally looking for that uppercut. Instead, he took one. Barrios fighting tall, though. Never let your opponent get under you. Get down to his size. Barrios kind of keeping his head a little bit cocked. You got to tuck that chin. Protect it. McCullough told us he's got to get underneath Larios. Good right hand oh. from Larios. Good right hand. That hurt. McCullough is a tough guy, though. He did not take a backward step. Wants to throw 100 punches around, he says. Physically fit, things that he learned from Eddie Fudge. Of course, Mr. Fudge passed away recently. Eddie Fudge says he's still in his head. He hears him in the corner. He hears what Eddie would be telling him to do, and Eddie would be telling him to attack. And he hears it through the voice of Freddie Roach, who, of course, himself was an Eddie Fudge yeah. disciple. And, and I think now one of the really oh, fine yeah. trainers in there. He picked up a lot of the good Lovely. attributes of Eddie Fudge, and he knows his game. Former fighter himself, a USDA champion, in the corner of Wayne McCulloch. I think this is just one of those fights you may as well buckle up, sit oh, yeah. back, and watch it. I think every round is going to be just like this one. Sure is. Now, Larios is a slow starter, so it's going to take him three, four rounds to get all the muscles loosened up, everything going. Both these guys are used to going distance. I don't think that's any kind of a factor. That's a flash of heads. What a busy first round. End of one. Boy, if that sets the tone, we could be looking at the fight of the year. That would be a busy one. A lot of punches. There is a fighter profile for Oscar Larios, the WBC champion. He has a busy style in the ring and is aggressive, as you saw. He's experienced against some of the very best super bantamweights in the world. And uh, he sets a good pace, but he can neglect defense. He throws wide punches. He won't have to look for his challenger tonight across the ring from him. 
Wayne Wayne McCullough is also a busy fighter, and uh, his profile is one from relentless pressure, non-stop punches. He has good, straight, strong stamina. He gets stronger as the fight continues, as will his opponent. And age 34, the biggest negative for him is has he slowed? He's had draining fights. He's been in a lot of wars, and has he slowed? Here's some of that action from that first round. Wayne McCulloch on the attack. On the inside, a lot of hooks from him and a lot of body punches. In 12-round fights, body punches are so vital. And Larios, to his credit, is not ducking McCullough. He has another fight agreed to. Uh, an HBO fight would be, honestly, a bigger money fight than this fight is for him. And yet he said, I want to fight this guy. And McCullough is not a gimme fighter by any stretch of the imagination. He's a gimme fighter. He's more of a... Thank you, <laughs> fighter. He yeah, goes he out is. there. He'll give you the punches and not afraid to take a few. But he, he told us this morning, too, it looks like he's taking a lot more punches than he is sometimes. Takes punches, glancing punches off the side of his head. He does have good head movement. Sure, and look at how low his chin is. You know, he bobs and weaves in there. And he doesn't get hit with the, the clean shots like many of the fighters do. See, even that one, he managed to go down. He messed up. Ducked under both of those. Mario's landing a bit here. You see a different complexion in this round than you saw in the first. Getting into it is Oscar. Larios himself has been fighting since he was 12 years old. Managing to keep him oh. off with good left hand. Both to the left hand at the same time. Larios got there with a harder punch. But Larios is more, it seemed, it seemed more effective than when he got hit with because his head was up in the air. If you touch your chin, it's not as profound as when your head's up in the air and you get hit. How vulnerable your Adam's apple is too. Man, I got hit a few times with my Adam's apple. I mean, squeeze the cider out of it. Ouch. Larios is really looking for that uppercut with McCullough. Good right hand from McCullough. McCullough just keeping that busy pace. Wow. This is like water on a rock. You know, finally it will go through the rock. It'll eat its way through. Good up oh. The other thing I was impressed about with Larios this morning when we talked to him, seems to be a real student of the game. That is exactly what he needs to do. Real nice kid. A really just good smile. Outgoing kid. Shakes hands. Very talkative. Left hand again by McCullough. Well in Hunter, Mexico. And again, a very competitive round. The first one was, and this one is. Where's the feeling out process? There is none. It's a punch em out. It's a punch fest. They both make a man in a leather factory. Oh, good combination. Mario is on the attack. Yeah, he's not letting McCullough get inside right now. He's just beating him to the punch. And we come to the end of the second round, and I mean, this has been a war, and it's been as advertised. We're coming back to Lemoore. If you do your best thinking in the shower, imagine how smart you'll get under the new shower heads at Holiday Inn Express. Proving that my client is innocent. Case dismissed. Five. Next. I'd like to pen the dog talker. Nice hair. Holy. Deficit's gone, Mr. President. Correct. Which accounting firm are you with? Oh, I'm not an accountant. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Stay smart. Stay at a Holiday Inn Express. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Find and car to answers. Only with a new, more precise MSN search. ACC Basketball. Georgia Tech looks to avenge its early season loss at the hands of NC State. ACC Summer Records this week on MSN. We welcome you back. Round number three. McCullough in the white and purple. And Larios in the blue. Larios is fighting right now more in his range, which he did in the second round. Too. Now McCullough gets his head on his shoulder. That's where he wants to be. Look at this pressure. That's 
that's right where McCullough wants to be. You have McCullough in front by point, making the second round even. I've given each man one round. Well, that last round was mostly McCulloch on the attack until the final 30 seconds. Mario's came on strong. Mario's still getting going. You know, he's just getting going. He's going to get stronger as this fight continues. Big uppercut. Left uppercut. What a, what a difficult weapon to protect against. You know, you get hit with that uppercut, you get hit in the Adam's apple, or around the point of the chin. If that misses, you get hit around the end of the nose, and that's smart. Makes both your eyes water. Oh, look at that. McCulloch. Body punches accumulate in 12-round fights. This, this is just going to be a battle of will. And I think it's he allows the other to fight his fight. McCullough wants to be inside. I thought the first round McCullough was able to get there. And in the second round, Lario has found his range a little bit more. Sure. Oh, we've talked about it so many times, Barry. Boxing is imposing your will on your opponent. Now this round, I think McCullough's doing a little bit better job of getting in on his chest. And those body punches. Oh. Good right hand by Arias. Arias winding up with that left. 